battle plans. Yes, I pick you, Sir Gus. Why, who else would I pick? said the king. I have lost count of all the times you have saved me. You see, the king believed Sir Gus had fallen off his chair in eagerness to volunteer to lead the army. You must get started, Sir Gus, the king went on. You must prepare my, your army. The other good knights will assist you with your battle plans. Good luck. With those words, the king left the room and went off to walk his dog. Sir Gus was stunned. Me? He mumbled. Yes, you shouted all eleven knights together. Sir Tom reached for a map of King Henry's kingdom. You will need this, said Sir Tom. He was feeling a little sad that King Alfred had not chosen him, but what could he do? This map shows all the hills, rivers, and valleys in King Henry's kingdom, said Sir Tom. Thank you, said Sir Gus. He did not understand why he must need a map that showed hills, rivers, and valleys, unless it was to point out the best places to hide. Still, he took the map and pretended to look at it. Sir Gus, said Sir Tom, you are holding the map upside down. Am I? said Sir Gus. Then he added, yes, I am. You see, I am trying to get a sense of how things might look from the enemy's position. What is your plan? asked Sir Ed. Like Sir Tom, he was sad that he was not chosen to lead the attack, but there was not much he could do about it. Do you plan a sudden attack at night with some of the army or an all-out attack at sunrise with the entire army? Sunrise, said Sir Gus. That is in the morning. No, I think the attack at night is a much better plan. If you like, Sir Ed, you could lead the sudden attack. I could stay with the rest of the army and keep them safe. I could not take this moment of glory away from you, said Sir Ed. It would not be fair. Sure you can, replied Sir Gus. I mean, you must not feel bad. I have other plans up my sleeve, plans that will soon be revealed. Well, if you really don't mind, said Sir Ed, I would be delighted. Sir Ed was starting to feel much happier about everything. I have just one request, said Sir Ed. Yes, said Sir Gus, what is it? The Black Knight and his men are camped in the fields of the West explained Sir Ed. I would like to attack them there, and I would like to take Sir Tom with me. He can lead our knights in battle, while I lead our foot troops. I was just about to say the same thing, announced Sir Gus. Wonderful, said Sir Ed. Excellent. Splendid, said Sir Tom. Fantastic. By this point, Sir Tom and Sir Ed were both feeling a lot happier. It seems we have a good plan, said Sir Tom. We will go and get the horses. Good idea, said Sir Gus. I will stay here and make sure the rest of the army stays safe. Eleven of the knights went off to prepare for battle. Sir Gus went off to find someone who could stop this awful pain he was feeling in his bottom.